Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Johnny Brento's Juju. The lovely image that you're staring at right now features Morgan Monig from her role as Seraphine in our short film Take That. And uh, this is the interface for the screener which I'll be sending out later today for submission to Nevermore Film Festival. Just got the final cut back and I have to say I'm very, very pleased. The sound design, the music, the overall production level is just very, very good. Super, super excited about this project. Take That features a story that is sort of part one in a three-piece, not exactly an anthology, but kind of a Pulp Fiction-like film, um, which tells the alternate origin of a very, very popular genre, which I won't reveal at this time. Uh, the other two parts of the uh, the movie are you know, fleshed out as far as the story, but not actually written. So one of my to do is very soon is to sit down and actually write that. In the meantime I have plenty of other things occupying my time. I have been doing quite a bit of long hours work at, um, at, at my job in Charlotte and fortunately as a result of that I'm able to work at home today so you guys get a video and uh, what else has Johnny Brento been up to? Whoa that is extremely bright fellas. was not expecting the old auto light to come on but um let's see if we can roll with this i was trying to be all cool and stuff and come to you guys in the dark but apparently uh the iphone had other plans here in any case um here's what's up with johnny brinto uh speaking of myself in the third person <laughs> sorry it just completely puts put me off um, my next uh effort is going to be some production things for mosaic 33 T-shirts, posters to prepare for the eventual screening. Uh, perhaps a T-shirt uh, and poster for uh, for take that as well. Um, and then beyond that, uh, looking at looking back to some work I've already done for a, a making of featurette for uh, Robert W. Fillion's Athena, and uh, going to get a few more interviews in that, and kind of pick up the process after post-production, after the movie's put together, what proverbially separates the uh, filmmaking men from the boys, and I, I always think that's some sort of distribution, although, you know, many of us, like at Mutantville.com, will choose to be our own distributors, because there's not a ton of money being thrown out to first-time feature-length filmmakers. But I think Robert's got a pretty good chance of getting some sort of distribution uh, of Athena. And uh, if he doesn't, you know, and I follow the process, ultimately we just end up with our own little uh, MVP American movie, if you will. But uh, I'm kind of getting into the thick of that a little bit right now. And there's some, there's some aspects to Athena. You know, of course, the writer having passed away prior to seeing the active production. And uh, things that kind of make this project special, you know, apart from a great story and good performances and very high level cinematography and storytelling. Um, so, you know, that's my that's my next focus. And then, uh, you know, between that and writing, um, I don't want to say the name. I don't want to give away the name of what the, the film that take that is going to be a part of, hopefully a feature length film. But I've been in discussions with some actors and uh, started putting together my own ideas about a budget for this and you know how long it would take me to get that sort of thing together and uh, that would be my creative output probably for the next year or maybe longer so um, in a nutshell that's what I've been up to um, in addition to that yesterday I recorded my 16th episode of Brento's Budget Filmmaking Podcast yeah 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 um, my podcast is a bit more focused on just tips and tricks for uh, no-budget filmmaking, and then it carries the listener through uh, pre-production and active production of both Take That and Mosaic 33. And uh, at this point, you know, I just kind of do one a week and discuss what uh, what I'm getting into, what my next project is, and um, and we just kind of take it from there. My plan: I wanted to have some of these sort of uh, backlogged. Uh, to avoid having to miss any weeks in the future, uh, and my, my plan is to have all that on, on iTunes by the first week of January, so I'm working on that right now. Um, they're all recorded and edited, and um, very, very shortly, probably this weekend, I'll be putting those up on Libsyn and going about the process of getting them accepted on iTunes. So, um, yeah, just stay tuned for that, and as always, be sure to check out MVP Mutant Radio. That's Strebo's larger format. Um, movie maker talk, movie fanboy talk, 
format kind of a radio show, and it's pretty entertaining. I, I give it a, I give it a high recommendation. Although there are some of the uh, commercials for other podcasts, I find personally just annoying as all crap. But I like the show a lot, and uh, I recommend that you guys check it out. Um, this is actually my third recording of Johnny Mercer's Choo Choo this week. I just had technical issues on the first two. So, uh, you know, that's going to be, that's going to be a wrap for this, son. And as always, be sure to check out Johnny Brento's Juju, only available on mutantville.com and only on Wednesdays. Thanks for listening and see you next time. Brento's budget filmmaking podcast. He makes short films about demons and zombies. Brento's budget filmmaking podcast. He'll help you make your own without a lot of money. He'll walk you through the steps to make a film with little to no budget. Precious budget filmmaking podcast. Podcast. Precious budget filmmaking podcast. Yeah, yeah. Coming soon to iTunes.